Hi and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry Lab videos. Today's video is about the Vaivogos equations on qualitative analysis of a binary mixture. And this video I am uploading on demand from the postgraduate students of chemistry. I really feel very happy that my videos are helping the people in need and I am getting so many requests on various topics and I am trying my level best to fill, fulfill your demands. So here we will be talking about the qualitative analysis of a binary mixture. So if you are doing such an experiment, the first question that could be asked to you is, what do you understand by qualitative analysis? Qualitative analysis means the complete identification of the substances given to you in the given sample whether it is in the form of a compound or a mixture is the qualitative analysis gives you the information about the numerical value of the substances present in it no, the qualitative analysis does not give any numerical information. That is, it does not indicate the quantity of the substance present. It only indicates the type of substance present in the given sample. In the form of elements or atoms or ions or functional groups. But there is no information about the quantity of the substance present in the sample. What will you do to determine the quantity of the substance given in the sample? To determine the quantity, we have to go for quantitative analysis, which includes the various types of titrations, whether they are done using the indicator or they are done on the instruments such as potentiometry, pH metry, conductometry or colorimetry, we can determine the quantity of the given substance. But the qualitative analysis does not give any indication of the quantity or any numerical value. Now what do you understand by a binary mixture? When the solutions or the substances present in the mixture forms a homogeneous substance. That is, the two substances are completely miscible with each other, then such a sample is called a binary mixture. What are the steps taken for the qualitative analysis of a binary mixture? The steps taken are first the determination of nature of the binary mixture, then comes the type of binary mixture, then the separation of the components present in the binary mixture, then after the separation the preliminary tests and then the Elemental analysis followed by the functional group analysis and then finally the reactions and conclusions drawn. So these are the steps. You said that first thing is we have to determine the nature of the binary mixture. What do you understand by the nature of the binary mixture? Nature of the binary mixture means in what state is the mixture given to us is present. Whether it is solid solid or a solid liquid or it is present in the liquid liquid state. 
So that is the nature of the binary mixture. How you will come to know whether it is solid solid, a solid liquid or a liquid liquid binary mixture. To understand the state, I will take the binary mixture drops on a clean watch glass, blow the air by my mouth. If the precipitate remains and the liquid evaporates, then it is a solid liquid mixture. If the liquid remains, then it is a liquid liquid binary mixture. And solid solid we can make out by seeing the state itself. How you will determine the type of binary mixture? What are the various types of binary mixture? There are four types of binary mixture. Acid, phenol, base and neutral. They are then further divided into four groups. Acid, which is divided into acid-acid, acid-phenol, acid-base and acid-neutral. Similarly, phenol, that is group B, is divided into phenol-phenol, phenol-base and phenol-neutral. The group C, that is the base, is divided into base-base, base-neutral. And neutral is in the group D, which is only neutral. So, this is how we can classify the type of the binary mixture. Suppose I have given you a binary mixture and I want you to determine the type of the binary mixture. What you will do? First thing, I will identify whether it is soluble in water or it is insoluble in water. If it is insoluble in water, then... I will take the binary mixture and to this I will add 10 drops of 10% sodium bicarbonate solution. Shake it well, filter it, separate the filtrate from the residue, keep the residue for determination of phenol, base and neutral compounds. And I will take the filtrate, acidify it with concentrated hydrochloric acid. If the precipitate appears, which is nothing but the reappearance of the acid, then it will show the presence of acid. If no precipitate appears, that means the acid is absent. The residue which I have separated, I will take a small part of the residue. Mix 10 drops of 10% sodium hydroxide to it. Shake it well. Filter it. Separate the filtrate. And acidify the filtrate with concentrated hydrochloric acid. If the precipitate appears, that is the reappearance of phenol, it shows the presence of phenol. If no precipitate appears, shows the absence of phenol. In the other part of the residue, I will add few drops of 1 is to 1 hydrochloric acid. And then shake it well. Filter it. To the filtrate, I will add normal sodium hydroxide. If the precipitate appears, it shows the presence of base, which is the reappearance of the base in the filtrate. If the precipitate does not appear, it shows the absence of base. In the last part of the residue, which I have kept from my first step, I will dissolve it in either sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydroxide or 1 is to 1 hydrochloric acid. If the precipitate remains undissolved, it shows the presence of neutral compound. So this is how I can classify the type of the mixture given to me as sample. 
Once I have done this test, I have identified the type, I can also separate the compounds using the technique I have already told by the reappearance of acid, reappearance of phenol, base, etc. Once I have separated them, I will purify them by crystallization or sublimation process and then I will go for the individual tests of the separated components of the binary mixture. If the substance given to me was soluble in water, then I will go for the litmus test. I will take one or two drops of the solution and if the drops turns blue litmus to red, then shows the presence of acid or phenol. If the drops turns red litmus to blue, it shows the presence of base. If the litmus paper does not change its color, then it shows that the mixture is neutral. If it is acid or phenol, I should further classify whether it is acid or it is phenol. For this, I will take the binary mixture, add sodium bicarbonate to it and if the carbon dioxide comes out along with effervescence, then it shows the presence of acid. If there is no effervescence, then it shows the presence of phenol. So, once I have identified and separated the components of the binary mixture, I will go for individual test that is color, odor, melting point, boiling point, whether it is crystalline or it is amorphous. After doing the preliminary tests, I will go for the elemental analysis that is determination of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and halogens. Thereafter, I will go for functional group analysis. What are the various functional groups that could be present? The functional groups that could be present are carboxylic acid group, ether, ester, aldehyde, alcohol, phenol, carbohydrate, amide, amine, etc. Once all these analysis are performed, we can conclude our results. In this video, I am not going to tell you the individual tests for functional group or elemental groups because otherwise the video will become too long. But this is how we go for qualitative analysis of a binary mixture. Hope this video will be helpful for you. Please share this video among your other friends also. Keep watching and if you want any other video in this context, don't hesitate to ask me to upload it. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself.